Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sone. Today we're going to be finding the restrictions of the original function f of x so that the inverse will continue to be a function. So what that's referring to is going back to the horizontal line test. If you were to graph this original function x minus 3 squared plus 1, it would be to the right by 3 and up by 1, and it would be a happy facing parabola, like so. But because this graph fails the horizontal line test, when you were to graph the original, or when you're graphing the new one, which would actually be um, a little bit different, instead of being right 3, up 1, it's actually going to be right 1, up 3. It would actually fail the vertical line test. So what we're having to do is restrict the domain of the original so that that new one will still be able to be a function. So we're going to start by just finding the inverse because that's needed in uh, this situation. So that would be x equals y minus 3 parentheses squared plus 1. And then we would subtract 1, x minus 1 equals y minus 3 squared. Square root, x minus 1 equals y minus 3 because the square root cancels the squared. And then add the 3 over. So we end up with the square root of x minus 1 plus 3 is equal to y. Now that is the inverse. If you were to graph that inverse, it would be to the right by 1 and up by 3, like I said. And if you were to do the positive and the negative version, you would fail the vertical line test. So when they say restrict the domain of the original function, it is mattering uh, it matters in the sense of the y values because remember, with inverse, you switch your x and your y, okay? So it relates to that number right there, which is the y value of 3 right here. So restricting the domain typically means the positive ones, which would be x has to be greater than or equal to 3. That would be the restriction I wish I could spell restrict, oh man, shun of the domain of the original, of the original, because if the original was the bigger than three values, it would be the red graph that I have here. If you made it less than the three or less than or equal to the three, it would have been the black part underneath. It doesn't matter which one you pick, most textbooks will pick the positive one. So when it's asking you to restrict the domain, it relates to the x value of the vertex of the original, 9 times out of 10, of the original, okay? Which would be the y value of the inverse. x value of the original, y value of the inverse. That's all she wrote. I'll see you next time. Stay positive, everybody.